<laughs> another day, another trip. Where are we going, Jake? Off to Europa Park. Europa Park. He's so excited. <laughs> Safe flight, safe flight. Oh, that's not cool. Good morning, guys. Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills at Europa Park with Chris from Adventure Times, with Danny, Coast Dan, of course, Theme Park Jake, and of course, Haley. Europa Park, theming, theming, and more theming lies behind here. A world of wonders, a world of escapism, and I cannot wait to get inside and show you what it's all about for my first ever visit to the park. And I also want to thank Europa Park for inviting me down with two, yes, two days of free tickets for me to go and explore. I've just got to sit down and have a meeting in an hour's time, get all the businessy stuff out of the way, and then go have fun in Europa Park for two days, two days. Now that is what I call a theme park entrance. There's a little piece of the Berlin Wall just as you come in here on the right hand side. A little piece of history just as soon as you, you come straight into the park. You've been here before, am I going to enjoy it? It's my number one <laughs> theme park ever. I oh, love this park. Okay, that, that's, that's some, uh, it's got some living up to do then mate. Right. Still early in the park but one ride that is open is Volatarium. I thought it was a madhouse for some very strange reason. But it is actually a what? A flying theatre. Your like, favourite type oh, of ride. <laughs> Will it be better than the one I did at Bollywood? That's the best flying theatre I've ever done. So we shall see. We shall see. I don't think you can film on this with it being a flying theatre. But uh, we shall see. <laughs> do, 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 do. Getting Harry Potter vibes. Wow. Yeah, I don't even know what to point my camera at. It's all, it's all incredible. If they can theme a flying theatre, a ride type that I absolutely detest like this, then I have no idea what's in store for the rest of the day. Of all the flying theatres I've done, the screen quality was good, the had sense, you had the water effects. It was definitely up there. I still think the one in Bollywood in Dubai was better, but that was a very good interpretation of a flying theater. I just don't like flying theaters, mate. It's like Flight of the Shite Lion at Legoland. <laughs> Can't stand it. Anyone who says they like that, right? Seriously, I question people's taste. I like it. Why? <laughs> if I ask why, people struggle, right? So why? Yeah, so I think we're going to be doing this. <laughs> right, so uh, I've been pleased to know that that's not a drop tower, so that's good. That's, <laughs> that's actually an observation tower. So I can handle that, that's absolutely fine. Over here, and in preparation for Halloween, 10 days from uh, the Halloween event at Europa Park. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be checking that out, but they've got a little ghost ride, a ghost train ride. A little, a little phantom manor of their own here at Europa Park. This place is phenomenal. I'm looking forward to this. I love a horror dark ride. Europa's phantom manor. Yes. We're in a room that has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Little baby Hannibal. Oh no way. It actually it's on a moving turntable as well. That's actually really, really nice. To the point where I may be going home with one of them. That's really 
That's nice too. I've actually got one of them, but without this on the back. All the Halloween merch. All prosthetics that you can buy. 14 euros, 12 euros, little prosthetics for Halloween. Little collectible figures. Mugs, magic sets. And for all your horror needs. Ooh la la. That was impressive. A little phantom manor in the heart of Europa Park. Even the talking heads. <laughs> Even the talking heads. The Disney vibes <laughs> don't just stop at Phantom Manor. No, no. <laughs> and I guarantee there is a roller coaster in the middle of that. Yes. <laughs> what a surprise! A few moments later. Well, my meeting it went very, very well. I'll tell you about that after this ride. It went so well that we've now got two members of staff escorting us around the park, fast tracking all the rides. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. This is amazing. <laughs> in the world because there's no, I don't think there's any competition. <laughs> After my hair is recovering from <laughs> Woden still, uh, we've been granted access to a VR experience where you put VR headset on and actually walk through the ride before you get on it and then board the ride whilst you're wearing a VR headset. I have no idea, but it sounds incredible. Looks a little bit of theming. The VR experience was definitely a different experience than I've experienced on a VR coaster before. It was immersive to the point where you turned to your left and obviously Chris has transformed into some little Anakin Skywalker game. <laughs> and the actual ride experience was actually really, really good. But there is an issue with audio, so I didn't have much audio for like 99% of the ride. And you had an issue with calibration as well, <laughs> which is just something that VR in general yeah. just has issues with. As soon as I sat down in the station, my calibration was wrong. I put my hand up, they recalibrated it, all good. But it was a good ride. I loved it. There's so much to show. Uh, it, it's just very overwhelming. It looks like we're going on Poseidon, the water coaster, which we definitely need in weather like this. And this looks good. Awesome. <laughs> you get a little bit wet on this ride. <laughs> this is awesome. What a view. Look how close you can get. Oh, there it is. Look at this. That, that horse like spraying water on people in, in the queue line. There we go. There we go. Right on queue. Now that's a view. Do you know? <laughs> Europa Park does not agree with my hair. Hayley, what do you think of Europa Park so far? Um, it beats F Telling for me. Beats everything in the UK. Um, Easily. The wooden coaster Woden beats any Woody that I've done before, including Zadra. And even like, yeah, Relantic is incredible as well. Including Zadra? Yes, Zadra. I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting that out. Zadra shit. <laughs> I love Zardra. Do you like Zardra? I love Zardra. Thank you. I love it. Go away, Hayley. Go away, Hayley. We're going to get absolutely so. Yeah, not until like a big water pack is closed. The 
This is beautiful. That's only step one. I'm guessing we got a little bit wet on that, right? Oh my god. Crotch cam. <laughs> <laughs> You know when I said before I come out I should have gone to the hairdressers and you know because of the train got delayed right so the train the train got cancelled and I had to catch the early one and the earlier one should have should have got me should have had a <laughs> go for the, the Danny <laughs> special, go for the Danny special. <laughs> give me 10 years I'm, 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 I'm going man no, that was really good really really good and the, the rides here are really long so you're on them for a long time let's look at this ride photo Right, so in front of us is Voltron, opening next year, powered by Rimac, yes, the supercar company that nearly killed Richard Hammond. And... <laughs> did, did I get you with that one, mate? Yeah, it's coming next year, and uh, yeah, it's behind there, having some work done. A lovely day like this, there's nothing better than a wet tunnel. <laughs> I'm on a roll today. This thing, and they've built all them towers for it, which obviously the ride goes around like a spinning coaster. But only one of them is to actually use for the coaster, and the others is for show. It's like, right, we'll just build extra towers just so it has the aesthetic, but they serve absolutely no purpose. It's just an, an effort that goes above and beyond. And also, found out some information during my little meeting. So, my little meeting with um, the Mac director and that happened because somebody quite high up, one of the owners, found out about Back to the Movies. And movies is having a link, something to do with Europa Park, I can't really say. But also Lift Hills is having something to do it. And maybe even a certain museum that's opening in Stoke as well, which is mental. Yeah. So, they told me that all the materials in each of the individual theme lands is from the original country. So if it's a Greek themed land, all the stuff would be imported from Greece. If you get walking through the Spanish themed land, all the cobbles, all the brickwork, everything imported from Spain. That is attention to detail. Eyes closed. Go, go. Right, go right. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, go the man of the hour. The big cheese. <laughs> I said, nice to meet you. These are getting worse, aren't they? Yeah. Up next for us is the Piraten in Batavia. Straight into Pirates of Batavia. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, lights gone out.
right at the end. Whereas in uh, in Disney, it's at the start. It smells amazing. It was probably one of the most themed, immersive dark ride experiences. For me, it was better in, pa in Paris or the Caribbean. At Disneyland Paris. At Disneyland, I've yeah. only done the Paris one. Yeah. So I can yeah. only compare it to that. Some of the animatronics are better in Paris. Yeah. But the overall... The just the aesthetic of that. Just, the Paris is impressive, but that was another level. To the point where I was nearly getting emotional. That's why you know it's good theming. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm leaking. I should just turn a corner and it's like, right, we're in a new country. Atlantica mascot. Snoring. Has its own little dark ride. And there we go. Now we did the water park yesterday. Phenomenal water park. But one of the best rides was Snorri, based on this character that we're going to be showing you right now. Kids ride, very impressive. It was certain uh, surprises in there. Good you little theming, yeah. Little certain surprises along the way. Nice little, nice little atmosphere. Lots of effort, projection mapping, and the, that waterfall effect on the rocks with the projections. I was like, I was looking around, like, where's the projector? Where <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, some Gandalf wizardry going on with that thing there. Superb, love that. Even the rapids uh, boats are themed. Look, we've got like backpacks on the back and little rubber rings and stuff. Oh, we're going on this. The thing is though, right, we're doing these dark rides and I'm more than happy enough to do all these incredible rides. But we still haven't done like the main coasters. We haven't done Silver Star. We haven't done Blue Fire. There's such a blend of dark rides and of big rides. And it's perfect. It's like most part, like Efteling is heavy on the dark ride. There's no big rides. Port of Ventura, it's more... Okay, that's more of a younger audience with water rides uh, on top of that and then you've got the two main coasters but this seems just like the perfect blend a lot of coasters a lot of dark rides all right it's time hello and welcome to frontuja rafting oh god it's your pronunciations again <laughs> yeah. we're gonna get loads of german comments again that's wrong no it's, that's actually, wrong. it's actually scandinavian who knows <laughs> no, that's okay. it's fine oh, oh. into the back into the station and it's stunning absolutely stunning i'm absolutely soaked that was special <laughs> i'm so cold right now danny i know you like the attraction but not not that much not <laughs> so that it's much. really bad <laughs> and then you can choose to go the normal queue line 
or you could choose to go across the floaty bridge. That's probably going to get you a little bit more wet. Oh, my trainers! There's the worst trainers to wear. Literally soaking up every little ounce of water as I go across. Timu trainers! Timu trainers! Six pound! Every corner there's a new street entertainment. Kind of wandering around, <laughs> doing their thing. Right. Yeah. Just coming into the English bit, and the, the second you enter it, there's a pub! There is a pub! No one ride filming in this area. All right. Pub! <laughs> Paddington Station, nice little train coming in. 15 euros for the refill cup. It's a little bit expensive, but it's a nice burger. All right, so the roller coaster restaurant was too busy, so we went to get food in the British themed land where we sat down at a British, pub. At a British pub and got burger and chips. I feel like we're back at Spoons. Yeah. <laughs> so we're currently heading towards a ride that I am the most excited for, and I don't know anything about it other than its exact same ride as the one at Motion Gate based around How to Train Your Dragon. It was immersive, it was well themed and I loved it. And if I can put a Europa Park spin on it, with the magic that we've seen from all the attractions so far, this could hands down be the best ride that I do in, here, in this particular trip. But we have to walk through this Efteling fairy tale forest replica to, uh, to get there. I, I just know this is gonna be special. I just know. Award-winning, most innovative ride system. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. I'm so, I'm so damn excited. <laughs> Constant conveyor belt rotation. themed dark right? London taxi company and a London bus <laughs> crossing the Irish Sea into the Irish land little coaster <laughs> so your favorite ride that's why you're skipping gleefully <laughs> oh that's beautiful that's really beautiful Oh, big slides. Got Limerick Castle. And the Bar Express. Hello, Danny. <laughs> More feet. With Duplo Dino Coaster Layout. 
And it's already better than Duplo Diner. <laughs> Yippee! Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> Sorry, just doing the Jupiter Dynamite sound effects. <laughs> that was that was so that was okay. That that was okay. Look at this in the pub. It's nuts. Now that is one hell of a view. Right, so you saw the ride with the VR, even though we didn't really see much of anything because it was in the dark, but they swap it around. So you actually do have an actual ride experience where it's not dark inside, and this is the experience you get, the, the Can Can Coaster. Yeah. I don't know what to make of a Moulin Rouge theme ride. I mean, it's good, like, and this looks like the back of a theatre set, and obviously you've got the production off the stores and things there, that like the, the cast sort of dressing room style area. But how would it translate into a ride? It's ever so strange. Though. It used to be a space theme ride, like an indoor space mountain type ride. I would have preferred to ride that version, but who knows? We'll see. A completely different station from the VR ride that we, we entered and experienced. Operations send one out, one comes in, get rid of everybody, straight on again, boom, 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 operations, operations. See that Mercedes badge over there? Sponsors. Sponsors this beast. This absolute beast. This B&M Hypercoast. So we're going in here, what actually looks like a car showroom, with the Mercedes font at the top. No. And the Mercedes no. <laughs> F1 team. It's fine, mate. You'll be. Max Verstappen will. We're, 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 so we're walking into a second or third best ride, uh, rather than a number uh, yeah, one. If it was a Red Bull sponsorship, it'd be a number one ride. Eight World Championship, yes, but you've only got seven championships. Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> people have been trying to rip them off, anyways. <laughs> Clearly, these people aren't a fan. AMG F1 safety car. We're outside in the front row queue. Hypercoasters before this, Shambhala and Hyperion, and it wasn't as good as either of them, in my opinion. 
So that is number three on my list of hypers, with Shambhala still staying at number one, and Hyperion sliding in at number two. Right, now it's time for the Matterhorn Blitz coaster in the Swiss themed area of the park. Lovely view, there we go. I think that's a ride that depends who you're sitting next to, if it's rough or not. I was sitting next to uh, Chris and the lap bar was miles away from my body and I had an ab training session. You know like when the UFC fighters punch each other in the stomach to tone their abs? It was basically that. <laughs> my tummy hurts. It hurts. My tummy hurts. Hey, look at the six pack. No, I'm <laughs> Up next is the shooting dark ride at Bentier. Atlantis. Right, so your cart is exactly the same like layout and ride system as Buzz Lightyear's at uh, Disneyland, so you can actually turn the rotation of the of the vehicle. Filming with one hand and shooting with the other, and I'm somehow still winning. I don't know how. <laughs> no! Europa Park Parade is about to start soon, in two minutes time, and we've got, we've got a good view, front, front row view, yeah, about two minutes. <laughs> That's brilliant.
I had to even go to wide screen to get all of that in. That's humongous. A Russian space themed ride. Hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling this may be getting a re-theme soon, maybe. Straight on. Here we go. <laughs> it's not right to happiness though, is it? Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, I, I can't see. I can't see where we're going. Watch the loop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I'll scrap it immediately. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> Never again. It's very rough. <laughs> Just a bit. Jeez. Oh, about. <laughs> no, I'm not making any Russia jokes. Don't do it. I'm not Don't doing do it. it. <laughs> Blue fire mega coaster. It's Mac, baby. Headache and juicy. <laughs> Themed around a power plant that explodes and you escape from it. Go, go, go. Nearly stopped. <laughs> Whee! Oh. Whee! Evolution was insane. Pretty good, isn't it? Oh, yes. Blue fire merch, Europa Park cap. Oh, that's, that's uh, the layout of London. That's really Great smart. Coasters International. Oh, not, sure, not sure about the hat. No, I'm not sure. 59 euros. <laughs> it's a little pricey, that. For me, Woden is still number one. Woden is still number one at you. this part. Said to you? Yeah. That was good, don't get me wrong, it was good, but it just wasn't to the level of Lies. extreme. You, this is your number Lies. one. Yeah, but this you, is my new number one hit. Woden, no. Woden beats Wicker Man. Woden's just an intense from start to finish experience. Blue Fire is just like. Is that? Wow. It's a bigger version of Icon. Like a An Icon is. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's the fact is there's enough coasters here for everyone to have their own individual number one. Silver Star could be a lot of people's number one. It's a good enough ride. That number two. 
Let's go for number two, Silver Star number three. Now, we didn't get to walk the queue line before because uh, we're, we're still having that meeting. <laughs> so we got taken through. So it'll be nice to actually enjoy the, the full queue line tour experience this time around. It's, I can't believe that a wooden roller coaster is my number one at this park. I never would have thought of that, genuinely. It's the queue line. Ooh, here we go. Q line toilets. I'm just going for a number two. <laughs> He's going to drop a Woden. Drop a Woden. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow. Round two. After the insanity of the front row earlier, it's only fair we do a back row now. Yeah. Okay, back so row right. Okay. It was even better than the front row ride, so if it was my number one from the front row, it's definitely my number one from the back row. And our last ride of the day is the super splash ride. Before we go, well, before we go for a bigger super splash, I'm gonna go <laughs> in Rulantica <laughs> for the second day of Rulantica. That's how good that water park was. That we're going back again tonight. So, the last ride of the day, at day one, Europa Park. <laughs> Cracking view. A one minute wait. <laughs> Look at my balls, Danny. <laughs> I think I've got a problem. Going backwards. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's a strange oh, feeling. It's a very strange feeling. Had a lovely, nice, lovely <laughs> sprinkle. Front row sprinkle brings us Europa Park day one video to an end. It's been an awesome day. It's an awesome park full of awesome rides. And there's still a few dark rides that we haven't explored, which we will be doing tomorrow. Enjoyed it? Oh, mate. It's, your, say, mate. it's your favorite park, and I, and I can see mate. why. It is absolutely fantastic. Can, it's got everything. Yeah, it's got everything. It's got a mix of top thrill rides, dark rides, and a little bit in between. And, and the water stairs. rides are good too and stairs lots of them they do love their stairs out here in germany it doesn't matter where you go there's always going to be stairs uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one Bye.